This week on Bold City B, a major announcement from the city of Jacksonville. Brand new events leading up to the Florida Georgia game, one of college football's most storied rivalries, and a matchup that's been held in the River City since 1933. As we develop Lot J and uh, that sports entertainment district, uh, this speaks of what's to come down there. But this is going to be a big deal and a fun weekend for everyone. Bold City Bash will include a baseball game between the two schools, plus a huge concert, all for one ticket price, and happening the Friday night before the game. Country sensation Brett Young will headline the concert. Those tickets, which are only $15 each, will go on sale next week. Oh, good morning. The city celebrated National Senior Citizens Day by highlighting its free transportation service. It's open to all seniors in Duval County. They'll pick you up and take you to one of 17 senior centers throughout the city. Just call 630-0801 or 630-0921 to set it up. Mayor Lenny Curry hit the streets with sanitation crews on Thursday this week to help spread the word about contaminated recycling. Throwing the wrong things in the recycle bin has led to costing the city of Jacksonville a half a million dollars a year. It's common now. People recycle, right? It's what we do. It's the right thing to do. The message today is let's do it right. Let's get the right results and do it right. For a link to the list of what you can and cannot recycle, look in the comments under this video. You look a lot better right side up, boss man. And finally, heartwarming moments at the brand new Fire Station 73. Crews were reunited with Joshua Davis. They saved his life over Memorial Day weekend when his motorcycle collided with a car. The fire station had just opened and greatly reduced the response time for crews to get to the accident. Joshua and his dad say they'll be forever grateful. And those are your headlines on Bold City Beat this week.